No unity, no power. White power for white people. Black power for black people. 1967. The Black Panther Party. The movement. Freedom. Let's talk about freedom. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This light is bright as the That might be better. Got me looking like light skin Keisha. Wow, Tada! Watch out now. Okay, I'm getting away from the point of this whole video. What is going on, beautiful people? Beautiful black people, especially this week, okay? I love all of you, but my black people need a little more love this week, so I'ma give it. And welcome to the world according to Eric with the baddest bitch on the block, Eric Devante. And it is time for Way Back Wednesday. And last week I put it off because I didn't know what to give y'all, honestly. Like, I, I didn't know if I should be up here, you know, even praising black artists. Like, I just, mentally I wasn't in no space to be celebrating music. I just, it's a lot. It's hard being a black man, a black person in America right now. But this week I found a song that's oh so appropriate and oh so black and oh so culture friendly. And I'm gonna present it to y'all because I don't know how many people know this. Freedom from the Panther soundtrack. Um, where all these like R&B artists and rappers collabed and just spoke out on racial inequalities in the country and just like put it all on a track. You know, I mean, what better way to address the issues in the world than to put it on a beat? And that's what they did. Like, we got Aaliyah, Monica, Queen Latifah, TLC, Patra. Like, it's just such a vibe. Let's go. Freedom. Not even playing with this quality. Because there be times where I think it's all, like, 4K and then it's giving pixelation. Like a bitch is playing Snake on a Nokia phone. Don't do it. Especially not with all that's going on in the world. Especially not while I'm trying to give a message. Don't do me like that, Canon. Be in support of your black allies. That ain't make no fucking sense. Look. <laughs> Let's just cut to the track. Enough. No unity, no power. White power for white people. Black power for black people. All right. 1967. The Black Panther Party. The movement. Freedom. Let's talk about free. Period. We will not bow down to our racism. We will not bow down to I think that's Coco from SWV. Injustice. We will not bow down to Wait a minute, what what are we gonna do? I'm gonna stay. Let's go. Let's go. Now, I don't know necessarily who everyone is in this video. That could have been Patra, but I don't know. Okay. I'm only going to call out the names of those that I know. We're not even. They. Auntie Mary. My birthday twin. You got Jeanne. Okay, Chili. Where's t -Bos? There she go. I've never seen the movie Panther in my life. Yes, baby girl. Yes, my baby Alia. Now, you know, I have to be honest with y'all, it's been a very tough time, like, to my black people that are out there going through it, and this video is very black specific, like, period. I'm not trying to, um, I'm not trying to make anyone feel comfortable outside of this community, like, the goal is, everything right now is very black centered, as it should be, um, and I completely understand why you know how many of you guys could be feeling whether you don't feel like creating shit you don't feel like talking to people you don't feel like engaging on social media everything is just heavy as fuck so come on brownstone everything is just heavy as fuck and it's tough right now because while you know we're seeing the change that we so righteously deserve or so rightfully deserve it's all centered around our culture our race and Shit, that's a lot. That's a lot of messaging constantly, okay? Whether it's you seeing, you know, the playback of George Floyd's uh, death, like... Shit is just really fucking happy. 
I don't even have the words as I'm doing this video right now. I just want to provide you guys with some type of communication during this time because Lord knows I've been in the dark my damn self. But I truly think we're gonna get where we need to be. I really do. The bitches is paying attention now. I guess quarantine had to happen. Yes, Monica. And this is short Monica. I mean, this is short hair Monica. So you know she was young. I want to know, like, who coordinated this whole thing? Like, who said we about to get on and do this? All right. And what I love is that they did an R&B version and then they did a rap version. So you have all the rap chicks, you got the left eyes, the salt and peppers, the Queen Latifahs, like... And while this may be a bop, like I said, I did it because it's so relevant right now, like... I just, there was no other way. Like, I contemplated doing Marvin Gaye what's going on, but like, no. Let me, let's, since we're in the process of educating America, let me educate the kids with some music that, shit, like, you don't see artists doing stuff like this today. You, when's the last time you've seen a collaboration of a bunch of artists getting together and speaking out on things going on in the world? Like, no. And this is the thing we should be focusing on, so, I don't know. Just a message before I go to all of my black people that are out there. Do not feel any pressure to be anything other than yourselves at this moment. Like, be, be raw in your emotions. If you want to express yourself on social media, that is your absolute right to do so. If you need to take time off of work, that is fine. At the end of the day, you are replaceable because if you were to die tomorrow, they'd hire someone just as fast. So, take care of your mental health. Um... To my parents, hold your kids really tight. It's a cold world out there. Hold your kids really tight. To the kids, hold your parents. Tell them you love them. Show appreciation. And go after your dreams. Like, as you can see, this could all be taken away from you at any moment. And, you know, you only got this one life to live. So, make it stick. But you are love. I love you. I love us. And... We are worth this fight. We are worth this and so much more. We built this country and no one's gonna tear us down. Period. I'll see y'all next week.